Welcome back with your eye on health. It's Wednesday, which means Dr. Bose is in today, giving us some great health and medical tips. Today we're talking about herbal medicines. A lot of people think or are led to believe for different reasons that herbal medicines are just as good as, as prescription medications and medications. Go ahead and talk about what, what, what's the real thing going on here? Is this the case? Well, you're right. A lot of people do think that herbals are better because right. they see labels like all natural. natural. Maybe they're frustrated at their physician, they're frustrated at their healthcare. They want to take more control of their health. Right. So let's start by this. Let me hand you these pills here, Robert. Can you tell me what, what are those? Looks like medicine to me. <laughs> you can't tell without yeah, you the label. You don't know what it is. Yeah. They're, just, they're just blank pills. And that's the whole point here with herbal medicines. Even if you have the label, you still don't know what's in each of those pills. Right. Um, these herbals, like although, let's say you take garlic. So this is natural garlic. You know, there's some thought that this decreases your cholesterol. And when they put garlic in a pill, there's no regulation of it. And there's no regulatory bodies exactly telling you how much is in this pill. Is it the same amount in this pill? Is the dosing regulated? And when, you know, the di there's this act, this was a big controversy in the 1990s hmm. with the Dietary Supplement Health Education Act. Right. And you know, people were complaining, they're like, why should the FDA regulate garlic? This is a natural product. But so what happened is when they passed this bill, the supplement companies can basically say things like all natural. Mm. And if they make claims like cures high cholesterol or no side effects. There's nobody verifying these claims, and wow. that's the problem. Yeah, you would think the FDA would be in on this and regulating yeah, this, but you don't it's know one what of those you're things. Getting. Interesting. And so, are there any ways that these benef benefits from from this medication? I think the main rule to remember here is everything in moderation. Like, right. sure, a little bit of garlic is good for you. You know, if you're loading up, you can't substitute your cholesterol meds with garlic. You mm. may hear cinnamon is good for your blood sugar. Don't quit taking your diabetes medicine and take cinnamon instead. But a little bit in moderation should be okay. Okay, but it shouldn't be like you said, a substitute. It should Just not be a substitute, to help. right. right. And, you right. know, this is a prescription medicine. This goes through FDA regulation. So they basically test it, test it on animals, test it on humans before it's going in your body. This, less so. And even when you're seeing terms like all natural, I could take a cigarette show it to you guys and say, waving fields of natural tobacco. You know, that's, <laughs> right. that's Any claim. not necessarily better for you. So, right. And unfortunately, you it takes sometimes a celebrity to die, like we've seen athletes die from ephedra, or just right. bad things to happen before they get you know, before you learn your lesson. Before Absolutely. you learn your lesson. And I mean, so. these are, like you said, FDA approved, and there's a reason why we've had advances in medicine to, to be able to provide the, these, these medications to help you with your condition. So. Right. Everything in moderation. Right. Don't believe false hype. Okay. Great. Dr. Bose, Medical Center Hospital, thank you so much for joining us and always giving us great advice. Thank you. And we'll be right back. Stay with us.